Hi fellow hobbyists, Mark here, family man and father of three. In this video I'll be discussing how to base and base coat your miniatures uh, for speed to get them quickly ready for the next step which is painting. I've split this video into sections to give me just a little bit of time to set up for the next scene. I do this so that I can get the most amount of information to you in the shortest possible time. So as always I hope you enjoy. Right then, in the previous video I discussed uh, the tools necessary to, to cut uh, the, the models from the sprues um, and, and how to sort of like sort all that down and clean them all out. What I'm just going to quickly do now is just briefly talk to you about how to prepare the models and basically do some, some base coats. Now the glues that I use are um, some Revel glue uh, for, the, for plastics and some uh, Gorilla glue um, for for all metal or tin basically. Now the reason I choose the Gorilla is the Gorilla seems to last the longest. The, what I tend to find an issue is with super glue is after a while if you don't use it for a long period of time it starts to harden or the end starts to harden and things like that. I found with the Gorilla glue it, it's, it tends to last a fairly amount, uh, a fairly good amount of time considering how, how often you're going to use it. And then with the, the reason I use the Revel um, plastic glue is purely because of this really nifty long sort of like pin that allows me to sort of like get into some, some nifty areas when I'm, I'm gluing. And generally just one squeeze with one little dollop and then hold it into place for a few seconds and bam, that's sturdy. So for example, if you've got a particular uh, head, for example, you just do one little squirt in there or one little squirt on the neck and then stick that in and you can get it into sort of like some nifty places with this little pin really useful um, so, so those are the two glues I use for, for getting the models together and then I always have a huge tub of, of PVA um, so so that I can do bases etc um, what I tend to do is I'll do glue all the models together um, stick them all on their bases and then PVA the base um, with my PVA using my little uh, skewer. I then spread that over a little bit after a couple of squirts of the PVA and then just dip them in, just dip them in a little container of some sort of like uh, fine sand etc. I put a couple of larger rocks in there just, just to break it up a little bit. And then once I've done that, that's the model ready to sort of like start painting. I generally try and do a batch of those to save me a lot of time. And then th this is what we've got here. What I've done with these, which is a bit hard to see because obviously they're, they're pure black, is I've given them a black undercoat in this occasion. Now, what I tend to find is either black uh, if you want sort of like a darker tone or white if you've got kind of like a light, brighter model. What I'm going to do in, in the next few seconds is I'm just going to cut this video and I'm going to set up a compressor and, and show you how to do that next step. Okay. Right then, I've only recently uh, started reusing uh, compressors. I did have one uh, many, many years ago, um, but it was exceptionally noisy. It took a very, very long time to clean. Um, but I have uh, invested recently in a, a Voila Mart one, um, and I found that this one's really, really easy to set up, really, really easy to clean. Um, it's It comes with its own little carry case, so I can put it away. And it's, it's fairly quiet as well. And um, compared to my other, compressor which some people might assume is just the norm nowadays but my old compressor didn't have um, obviously the pen section didn't have a, a lid on on the ink uh, area whereas this one does and saves me sort of like having to, to hold it in a particular angle what I tend to use is I tend to use um, the army painter um, paints because it's quite easy just to, to drip those into the top and then mix a little bit of paint with it or if I specifically need again I use the foundry paint system uh, with regards to that okay now again I try and batch job these paints um, and if necessary use uh, a brush to obviously get, get the paint out especially for the foundry ones. Uh, I tend to, to batch paint if I potentially can again for speed um, put a little bit of tissue down here and then uh, for those of you who aren't in the know obviously you push it down for um, the ink and then you push it back for the speed sort of thing so if you want to just test it on a piece of paper um, or tissue uh, that's great and then you just want to generally produce sort of like fairly uh, layers um, on the model not not overly covering any any specific detail um, but just generally just do a, a a light stroke if that makes sense 
and then over several sort of like light strokes you'll produce um, the desired effect. I also sometimes use uh, base stands for, for certain games um, and then I just base coat those as well sort of thing so, so we got those there like that. Okay. Right then, I just wanted to show you sort of like the final product after using um, the, the compressor to, to do a large quantity of sort of like models all in one go. Um, it does save a considerable amount of time. Initially, it's going to take you a little bit of time just to get used to the compressor, sort of like mixing the right consistency of paints uh, to water ratio. But I think the more you practice, the more you'll get a feel for it. Some people obviously prefer it slightly watery, thus they, they have to put some several coats on. Some people prefer it a bit thicker, so, so they, they don't need as many sort of like layers. It's entirely up to you and your particular painting style. But once you've got that consistency right uh, and, and you've used it a few more times, like me, you'll probably find that it saves you a considerable amount of time. So using the kind of like the guides that I was talking about, about the three layer, this, this would basically eliminate one sort of like one of those layers. Um, so then I'd start applying the base coat or washes and then still like straight onto highlights. Brilliant for when you're doing sort of like a huge large project like this and you need to churn out a fair number of models and you've got a limited amount of time. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and as it's been of some use to you. As always, when using things like spray paints and compressors, always try and make sure you use them in a well aerated place. Um, I also sometimes use some, some cheap sort of like plastic uh, gloves and face mask as well um, to avoid any issues like that. As always, I would love to hear from you as to about what you think about the video, maybe even offer some future suggestions and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Thank you. Bye.